welcome to core caboose again strength class focus shoulders to hips we're going to start opening up that chest nice and wide and then alternating which arm goes up top so big open up the chest open up the back open up the chest open up the back a few here so we're going to play today yesterday my kids were at their crossfit class and it's great it's a great experience for the kids they have a lot of fun they do amazing things there and i was a little inspired by their class so we're going to play today in our class there we go let's do three two one and let's bring those arms down thumbs forward and then arms up heels up what we're going to do is we're going to do five one two three four five yeah five five minute blocks of class every minute on the minute we're going to do two different strength moves again from shoulders to hips is our focus in class but i want us to have fun with it i will present um options for a standing and then on the ground series there will be floor stuff, but again, always options for standing. So every five minutes, it's going to be a different focus, two different moves we're going to do every minute on the minute. So let's have some fun with it. Good. Get really tall here. Squat down, chest lifted. There you go. A few more. Bring it down. Welcome, welcome. Last one. Let's all meet with those arms up, heels up. And then I want, we're going to do a little balance challenge. I want you to bring your right arm forward, left arm back as you twist towards the left. And then come on up center. And then the other way. Bring it center. Let's try one more time. There you go. Twist. Heels up if you can. If not, that is okay. Something to work on. And then the other side. There we go. Bring it down. Shake it out. We're going to start our first five minute block is deadlifts and alternating lunge knee up twist. So we're going to do 30 seconds of deadlifts and then 30 seconds of an alternating lunge knee up twist. So grab your weights, roll those shoulders back, slight bend in those knees. I'm going to show from the side, brace your core. It's a flat back. So you go down as far as you can where you maintain this flat back. So maybe you're here, if you've got a little more flexibility in, in the backs of those legs, maybe you go a little further, you pause and then slowly come up. So 30 seconds working your deadlift. Again, wherever you're at with the deadlift, bring it down, pause, bring it up. And then in 10 seconds, we're gonna switch and we're gonna alternate a reverse lunge, knee up twist with lots of different options for it. There we go. Bring it down, pause, bring it up. And then bring those weights here in front of your chest. So you're gonna step back one leg for a lunge, drop the knee, pause, and then twist. And then alternate, other leg back, lunge back, knee up, and twist. Now with options, if you're not balancing today, lunge back, step it in, and twist. Or if that step is a bit much, you can lunge back, twist lunge back and twist or find a flow that works for you you're going back to deadlifts in three two one back to those deadlifts 30 seconds per move every minute on the minute so again you can do body weight deadlifts too right here important thing again flat back raising your core drawing your shoulders back and then coming up we're good any weight that feels good with the deadlifts, you could likely go a little heavier if you have heavier weights. In five seconds, we're back to that reverse lunge twist. Here we go. Three, two, what is this? Round two, and one. Weights up. Here we go. Step it back. Draw that knee up, and then work your twist. And then switch it up. So again, we're going to do five different blocks of class today. Every minute on the minute, switching it up. There we go, 10 more seconds here. And then we're on to round three. When you do that twist, make sure you're bringing your gaze with you. Here we go, back to deadlifts in three, two, and one. 30 seconds of deadlifts. Here we go, brace your core, flat back, flat back, flat back. Pause, flat back up. Let me see this beauty in action and welcome everybody. Welcome Cam, Sierra, Linda, Demi, Anne-Marie, Alana, Maggie, Kathy, Brianne, Bridget, Susan, Liz, Lacey, Ami, Colleen's back. Yes, Rosen, Carrie. There we go. Three, 
two, one, reverse lunge twist. I'm so welcoming everybody. Alicia, Letty, Stana, Liz, Mom, Lenny, Sharon, Ashley, Miley. Oh my goodness, Victoria. Such a full house. This is great. This is a really fun class. And I hosted the live stream for the March Madness. And it's only up for twice. I didn't realize that per week. So I'm really glad to see more people here. It's a really good strength class. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're on round four. Here we go. Deadlift it down. Pause. Slowly come up. There we go, team. We've got it. This is round four of five. Get every minute on the minute where you're switching up between these two moves, 30 seconds each here. And then the next block, totally different moves, different timing, different everything. There we go. Three, two, one. Bring those weights up. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Brace your curve. Push off those back toes. Come on up and twist. And do not rush the movements either. Control that body. Enjoy the ride here. And think about all of the benefits of the moves that you're working. There we go, we have 10 more seconds here. And then we're doing our next block and twist. There we go. Three, two, one, last time. There we go. So lift it up, smile, have fun today. Oh, so what I was noticing is the CrossFit, I used to CrossFit all the time, it was great. The kids class is really fun. They're on the time of their lives, they're switching up what they're doing, they're high-fiving. And then the adults, they were so serious. I mean, it's a good workout, don't get me wrong. But it was so intense and serious. I was like, ah, I can't do that. But I can embrace some of the, the concepts I'm seeing and I remember from my CrossFit days. So here we go. Three, two, and one. Last time on those reverse lunges. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Knee up and twist. So every minute on a minute is a popular CrossFit workout of the day idea. So that is inspired by being there yesterday. And twist, here we go. 10 more seconds. Then I'll take 30 to explain the next block. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. So 30 seconds as I explain the next block. You're gonna do three push-ups and then three bird dog crunches per leg. So either you're on the ground doing that or you find a wall and you do your three push-ups against the wall. And then if you're um, on the wall, bird dog crunches, opposite arm, crunch the opposite knee three times. So that's what we're gonna do. Every minute on the minute. You ready? Come on down or find the wall. Three push-ups, knees or toes, and then three bird dog crunches per leg. Ready, set, here we go. Spring it down and up. Long as fine. One, two, three. Then hands and knees. Extend back. One leg, one arm. Three crunches per side. One. So knee to elbow. Extend two. Knee to elbow. Three. Go back three push ups and then we'll do the other side. Again, your push ups can be on your knees. It can be against the wall. One, two, three. And then we need hands and knees, other side. So that's all we're doing here for this five minute block. It's three and three. It's not even every minute on a minute. It is just five minutes of that. Three push ups, three bird dog crunches. And again, against the wall, same idea. If you prefer not to do push ups against the wall, you could do um, weighted or unweighted. This move here that we've been doing, that upright uh, chest fly. So you could do three of these. And then if you don't want to do the bird dog crunches against the wall, you could come into a lunge here and then knee to elbow. One, two, and three. So again, lots and lots of options in class. You guys come to class. We can find something for everybody. One thing is logging in, moving, and having some fun. Where are we at? We got two more minutes of this block. Three push ups. One, two, and here we go. We got it. Three, and then hands and knees. And then make sure you're alternating uh, with those legs. 
and arms for those bird dog crunches. So again, you find some length here. Draw the knee in towards the elbow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. There you go. Keep going, team. Have fun with it. Again, we're building that strength. Shoulders to hips. The core, the foundation of all the movement that you do in your body. Well, the feet and the core, it's really important. Two, here we go, three. And then go over to the other side. Just over a minute on this clock. And then we will take 30 seconds. And then I'll set up block number three. We're gonna extend. Let's see it, let's see it. Nice team. Oh, I see lots of good options. Nice, Alicia. Woo! Go, Liz. Liz, I remember push ups were part of your goals last, I don't remember, six months or 100 day. You look great, though. There you go. You've got a team. 30 more seconds. Just do what you can. Feel good about the movement. Remember what you're working, why you signed up for class today. Beautiful, Linda. Yeah, so you guys crushing it. Go Liz S. Perfect. There we go. 10 more seconds. And then we'll take a quick break. And I'll talk about block number three. There we go. All right, take a break. Block three. If you're on the ground, you're going to go down onto your right side. We're going to do 10 V up. So you're going to bring your leg up and forward, up and back. Actually, we'll count that as one. Two, yeah, we'll do that. And then you're gonna do five side crunches and then reaches forward. And then against the wall, same idea. So I'll start on the wall to show the wall thing. Otherwise, let's all go on to the right side. It's 10 V ups, but we'll just count once away one. So bring it up or to the side and forward. That's one, two, here we go, we got it. Three, point to toe, four, there we go, we're gonna pour it. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go, line, 10. And then you're gonna crunch knee to elbow, extend, and then reach forward. So whether you're on your other side or the standing option I'm showing, crunch, forward. There we go, crunch. What do we have? Three. Here we go. We're gonna do 10 on this side, 10 in the other. Four. You've got a team crunch. You can always hold a weight, a lighter weight in your hand here. If you want a little more. Five. It's a bit of counting with a lot of these CrossFit style workouts. Six. Class con, I had a format I was teaching for a bit. Seven. It was definitely inspired by my CrossFit days. I am bringing it back one, to one, one time during uh, Be Fit Stronger's expanded schedule. There we go, I think we got two more. And then we go to the other side. Last one, last one, crunch. And then reach. Other side, look, we got another Georgia. First up, those 10 V ups, so point the toe, bracing course, bring it up and forward. That's one, two, here we go, we got a team. Three, four, Whew, standing is tough. Five, and I'm feeling it more than you would think. Six, here we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then here we go. We got crunch, extend, reach forward. One, there we go. Crunch, extend, reach forward. Two, that is from Kaiza Fit. I don't know if you follow her on Instagram. She is amazing. This move. I got it from her a couple years ago in Ideal World, the crunch and reach forward. There we go, I think we have about five more. Then I'm gonna go back down to the ground with you guys. Those on the ground and keep going. And then where are we at? We are at two and a half more minutes of this block. There you go, you got two more here. Or you go at your own pace. Zone me out if you're at a different pace than me. Crunch. And extend, all right, back onto that right side. 10 up and overs, long this time, point, top toe, then that leg, reach it up, and for keep those hips steady. There's one, two, here we go, we've got 
three, four. Oh my goodness, I am like hip flexors are really sore from whatever we did yesterday. Five, six. Here we go. Seven, eight. Two more on this. Here we go. Nine, ten, and then it's crunch, extend. Oh, reach forward and think about all the stabilizer muscles we need to be working in our core to not fall forward with this part here, right? Reach forward two. Here we go. We got crunch, extend, and reach three. And here we go. Keep going. Crunch, extend, reach four. Crunch, extend. Is it five? Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. We'll have just enough time, six, to do the other side again. Crunch, extend, and reach eight. Two more, here we go. Crunch, extend, and reach nine. One more, come on. Crunch, extend, and reach 10. Over to the other side, just enough time to do this on the other side where we transition to our next block. Again, along the spine, keep those hips level, bring it up. And four, one, two. Oh, you could always hold the weight here too for extra resistance. Three, four. We got a team. Five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Here we go. Bring it forward. Oh, nine, ten. Here we go. Crunch, extend. And reach one. Amazon. Find out. Go to left. Here we go. Two. Here we go. Crunch. Extend. And reach three. Crunch. Extend. And reach four. We got a team. Here we go. Crunch. Extend. Reach five. Keep going. Crunch. Extend. And reach six. Four more. Crunch, extend, and reach. Three more. Crunch, extend, and reach. All right, last two. Here we go. Crunch, extend, and reach. One more. And then we'll transition. Crunch, extend, and reach. There we go. That was a block. One, two, three. Next one, we're going to do five donkey kick pulses and then five leg rainbows. So, Hands and knees, we're gonna all work the right leg first, or standing option, you can hold on to a wall and you're gonna do the same exact motion we do on a ramp. So we'll start also do the right leg first, okay? So it's five and five this block. Again, I switched up the timing and the numbers to keep it interesting for our bodies and our minds. So um, flex the feet, bring up your right foot, bend the knee, pulse five times. One, two, three, four, five, and then I want you to straighten the leg, point the toe, five rainbows, so tap down on, on the outside, bring it around and tap, that'll be one rainbow. Bring it around, here we go, we got two, three, four, and five. Bring it in, we'll do the other legs. So we got five minutes here, so bend the knee, Flex the foot, um, that thigh is parallel to the ground. Five pulses, one, keep it high. Two, three, four, five. Straighten it up, and then you're gonna draw those rainbows. So tap, nice slow controlled movement here. One, squeeze those glutes. It's corn caboose, remember that caboose, two. Your gaze is between your hands, maybe forward slightly. There we go, we got two more. Draw that rainbow. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. And again, you can be standing right here, pulsing it back. One, two, three, four, five. Point the toe, draw that rainbow, same idea. So you can count up to yourself, it's five and five. Five and five, let's lift those booties. Come on, everybody wants their booty lifted, or maybe a little bigger. It's so funny, people didn't want them, now they want them. <laughs> I always had it, I was born with it. But I mean, I wasn't born with the lift, the lift is this class. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see some people raising their hands. 
<laughs> some of us were born with it, some of us trying to get it. We're all trying to lift it though, right? Especially as we age. There we go. Go Miley, go Corinna, go Stana. And again, you can be standing, you can be on the ground. If you're on the ground and your knees are starting to bother you, you can uh, double up your mat and grab a pillow because I, I guess, you know, it is a five minute block on those knees. So just be careful, listen to your body. We have a minute and a half left. So go, go at your own pace, it's five and five. Five and five. Lift that booty. And then again, you straighten it up, point the toe, draw that rainbow. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. Thinking about that rainbow. Here we go, lift it up. Squeeze those glutes. And again, you're working to try to keep your hips as level as you can as you draw that rainbow. Really working the core, the deep core muscles here. There we go. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing great. We got one more minute with this series, and then we'll transition. And I'll explain the last one. We're going to get back to the abdominals with it. So again, pulsing five times and then five rainbow. There you go. Lots of different small burts here. First five minute blocks, keeping it in distance so we're not getting bored. Our muscles aren't getting too used to what we're doing. There we go. And again, very different format than I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of one minute moves, maybe 12 moves, repeating them twice. I wanted to present you guys something different. Here we go, guys. We have about 20 more seconds. So finish whatever leg you're on. And then I will explain the last block. All right, when you're done, grab a drink. And I'll explain the last block. And again, this will be on the ground. So I'll make sure to show the ground and standing option. If you're on the ground, you're gonna lay on your back, arms and legs are gonna be wide, and you're gonna do a star crunch. So opposite arm, I'll show it. But this one will actually take a little bit more of a break to break it down and explain it. So arms and legs are wide, you're gonna flex your feet, brace your core, you're gonna reach up opposite arm to opposite shin, and then bring it down and hover and pause for a moment, and then bring it back up. So that's a star crunch. What we're gonna do is, four star crunches, like same arm to same leg four times. And then after that, you're gonna do um, four one leg bikes and reach. So you'll still be on your back and then instead of the feet flex, you're gonna point the toes and you're gonna do one bicycle crunch, extend the leg long, and then you're gonna reach to the shin. Now that's, you're gonna do four of those before you go to the other side. Standing option. Maybe right here. Brace your core, one, two, or if the straight leg option isn't working for you, you're gonna tap the opposite knee. If that balance doesn't work for you, tap the opposite knee, but keep the foot on the ground. So you do four there, and then you're gonna do bike, reach, and then same idea. You can do knee or knee with a tap. Everybody has their marching orders. This is our last block, so it's four times. So we'll get started in 10 seconds, and this is it. So we should all really feel a nice, good ab burn after this five minute block, and then we will stretch. So I'll count it a little bit, I'll count. So arms and legs wide, ready, set four times. Bring it up, and then go slow, bring it down. Hover, one, brace your core, bring it up and down. Here we go, two, bring it up, three, Bring it up and down. Four, now point the toe, bring the legs um, next to each other as opposed to wide apart. And then it's gonna be one, a bike, extend, reach, one. Here we go, bike, exhale here, inhale here, exhale here, two. Here we go. Three, and then one more. Four, and then you're gonna bring the legs wide. Um, bring your arms wide, flex the feet, and then onto the other side. So one, bring it down. You can also do this with your knee bent. Two, bring it down again. Exhale at the hard part. Exhale here. Three, one more here. Four, make your star not a star. Get ready with your bike, point your toes. Um, bicycle, straighten and reach. One, here we go. Exhale here. 
Strain and reach to you. Can also hover this other leg to make it a little harder. All right, three. One more, one more. Oh my goodness. And four. Bring it wide, flex the feet, other side. We've got this. Oh, I'm, I think we all feel this. One. Exhale, here we go. Two. Bring it in. Three. One more. Oh my goodness. And four. Bring it in. Point the toes. Bike can reach. <laughs> One. Oh goodness. Woo. Two. Here we go. We have exhale. Don't hold your breath when it gets hard. You need to use that breath. Three. One more. Four. Bring it wide. Flex the feet. Other side. <laughs> One. Oh my goodness. Two, and again, you can always bend the knee. That makes it a little bit easier. Shorten the lever. Three, you can keep your head down to it if you're straining your neck. Four, bring it in, point the toes. Exhale. One, and reach. Here we go, bring it across. Two, keep going. Three, one more time. Four, we gotta do what the other side's one more time per side. Four and four. Here we go. We can do it. Oh, stronger together. One. Oh my goodness. Two. Keep exhaling. Use your breath. Three. Four. Point those toes. Bike and reach. Oh my goodness. One. Come on. This is the end. This is the last moves. Two. Then we'll stretch. Here we go. We have three, one more, and four. Flex it out. Spread those fingers and hands and feet. One, two, three. Come on, one more, one more, and four. And then the bike can reach four times. This is it. Four. Bring it up. Three. Bring it up. Here we go. We've got it. Two. Bring it up. Last one. And one. Woo. Bring it up. Um, if you're on the ground, bring those arms up overhead for a moment. And then uh, just take a moment, create a little length here, and then maybe extend your right arm, your left arm. And as if you're like climbing a ladder, just kind of switch and alternate arms and legs. Let's get a little length here along oh, the body. There we go. And then hug our knees into our chest. There we go. We got two minutes to stretch. And then if you are taking shredding stretch with me, um, I will log this out and start that one right at class and then start like a super ninja. There you go, hug your knees and your chest, rock side to side. Thank yourself for coming in. And straight class, focus, shoulders to hips. And let's extend the right leg, hug that left knee into the chest a little bit, and then we're gonna cross the body, feels good. A little, little recline twist here, bring up the opposite arm, and open up for a moment. Get that chest from those push-ups we did earlier. Whew. And take this moment, thank yourself. You can outsource so many things in your life, but not your workouts. You're the only person who can do this. Thank yourself for taking up that 30 minutes just for you. Let's come back to center. <laughs> your knees and your chest. And then the other side. So let's see. Uh, right knee in. Then we're going to go across, right arm up. If you are not going to try and stretch, Enjoy stretching a bit more. If you are switching over with me, I will uh, start the meeting in a moment. Just some two quick breaths. This is the quick transition part with the new system. <laughs> Exhale, cannot run over. One more time. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale. So again, you do not need to log out if you're not going to try stretch. I will just end the meeting. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed that workout. You guys are amazing. Bye, team. Bye. Great job today.